Hey, Coach, so glad you found us over on uh, YouTube. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and like. If you're looking for more resources, if you're looking to become a better coach, let me help you. Uh, teachhoops.com is a basketball community of resources, of coaches, one-on-one -on -one calls with me, office hours, you name it. I'm here to help you become a better coach. Go check it out. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Coach Unplugged, brought to you by the great people over at teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. 14-day free trial. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It is a community of like-minded coaches. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a youth coach, doesn't matter if you're a high school coach, collegiate coach. Um, it's got resources, it's got videos, it's got the most wider range of, of things out there for you as a coach. Um, but more important than that, it has community and more important than that, it has someone that's been through the battle, someone that's coached youth, someone that's coached summer ball, someone that's coached AAU at the highest level, someone that's won three state titles and been in the state finals, I don't know, 10 times or nine times. Um, crazy experience here that I can help you become a better coach. So go over and check it out, www.teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Um, so everything that we're going to do today, today we're going to talk about I don't know if it would be in my pet peeve category, but it would be definitely in one of the categories of things that I think is super important um, as far as a winning basketball program. Um, you know, like I said in a previous, you know, a quiet gym is a losing gym. Um, and, you know, you have to, this, we're going to talk about communication today, how important communication is. You know, the, like I've said before, Kids are on their Snapchat, kids are Instagram, and kids are communicating all the time. All the time, uh, <laughs> I kid about. I go, you guys don't communicate. You know, you, you, communication was when I used to have to dial the phone and call a girl to ask her out. You know, not not text her, uh, not Snapchat her, whatever it's called. Um, you know, I had to, you know, and I had to talk to to, to Susie's dad before I got to. <laughs> <laughs> is Susie there? Can I talk to you know? So the, they, they they don't know what communication is. But anyway, that's a sidetrack. Um, so why don't players want to talk? Why don't people want to talk in practice? Um, well, they're too into themselves. They're worried about how they look. They're worried about hurting people's feelings. They're too cool for all that. Um, and I don't know if they know what to say. To be honest with you, I think that's a huge part of of this of the process. Is I'm not sure they know how to communicate. So that's the first thing is you have to teach them how to communicate. We teach them how to set a screen. We teach them how to shoot a free throw. We teach them how to do warm-ups, but do we really teach them how to communicate? So that's a question for you as a coach to ask yourself, you know, how do I, how and why do I teach communication? Um, you know, I talk to my players all the time about the most important game of the year. The most difficult game of the year is going to, for us, will be in front of two or 3,000 people in a, in a high school gym. You will not hear me. You might not hear all of your teammates. You, you might barely hear the person that's, that's three feet away from you. So you have to learn different ways to communicate. So first, first thing is, um, is the name communication. So the sweetest thing in the world is your name. You will hear it. I hear people, <laughs> I hear coach and I hear Steve across the room. Um, you know, so the sweetest sound in any language is a person's name use it before you you talk to someone so here's how we practice this with our team this is and you can do this even when you're out and about um and i've done this with my son is like we go out to a restaurant let's say the the let's say we have a waiter in this case rather than a waitress and the waiter's name is sam so what i do is i tell we we introduce ourselves and then you know I, I make my son, you want to use the name before the instruction. You want to use the name before you ask them to do something. So similar to when you're playing, you want to use the name and then box out or name and name and cover him. So he did the exact same thing when we're out to the restaurant. It's like, Sam, thank you. We're ready to order. Sam, can we get a dessert menu? Sam, I think we're ready for the bill, Sam. And it will feel really weird the first couple of times you do it, but <clears throat> excuse me, but after you've done it a couple of times, it becomes really, really second nature. And it will also teach them to do it on the court. You know, you know, John, make sure you make sure you get a body on him. He's really boxing out really well. Or, 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 uh, Elliot, you know, get back on defense, make sure we get back on defense. So name first before instruction. That's the first thing. All right. Second thing is you got to talk about information. 
you got to give them information. You know, rele relevant and timely information is important when you're communicating with somebody. Um, so say what you are doing and then, you know, say what you should be doing. So, so, so here's, you know, Hey, Hey, J Hey, John, 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 Hey, the, the person's all over me. So make, make, make sure you get over and, and do that. That's, that's the next thing. Third thing is the tone. Sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. My grandma used to say that all the time. You know, leadership isn't yelling. Leadership isn't telling. Leadership is kind of moving them toward um, what you want them to do. So talk to them as though they were a close friend. Talk to them as though, you know, you know, have your teammates follow you into battle. You got to make sure that they kind of are on the same page. Clear and precise tone. You know, how you say a sentence by its tone can change its meaning. And the, and, and the fourth thing is eye contact. So name, information, tone, and eye contact. So it's a basic form of respect when you're communicating with somebody. You know, great coaches demand it. There's some great videos on YouTube about that. You know, it builds trust. Um, most communication is nonverbal. Non so it's gonna be really important to, um, to make that eye contact with the kids. Um, coaches are always making perceptions. Coaches are always kind of going, ooh, you know, you can, you can change things with eye contact. So um, going back to communication, four keys, make sure you're using the person's name, make sure you're giving them relevant and timely information, make sure the tone is appropriate, something that you do to your grandma, something to a cl close friend, and eye contact. Practice that with your players, and you, you will, <laughs> you'll be happy with it in practice and then you gotta have some drills you gotta have some some ways of communicating during practice um, to make sure that they are you know using the person's name using the information using in the proper tone making eye contact and eye contact is a little bit harder during the game but it definitely is not it's not hard during um, a timeout or some sort of huddle communication during a game. So make sure you're doing all those and I think you'll be really successful. Again, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. 14 day free trial. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe and like. Leave comments down below. We, we sure like that. If you um, leave a review, we, we really do appreciate that. Um, have a great day. Hey coach, hope you enjoyed that video. If you're looking for more resources, check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. I do not think you'll be disappointed. One-on-one um, -on -one calls with me, office hours, you name it, we're here to help.